Welcome to the Ask a Scientist video series. In this episode, we'll cover the topic of using the 20% rule to help manage expectations in targeted NGS. So what is the 20% rule? It estimates the amount of sequencing depth you can expect with a low duplicate rate. As you meet and exceed the 20% theoretical maximum coverage based on your genome equivalents, your duplicate rate will likely increase. Remember, a genome equivalent is the amount of DNA in one copy of a genome, and depending on the amount of starting DNA you utilize going into library prep, the efficiency of that library prep, and your targeted enrichment workflow will define the number of genome equivalents you have and the theoretical maximum depth of coverage. To illustrate here are 10 colored marbles representing 10 genome equivalents and a theoretical maximum coverage of 10x. There's also an empty jar that we'll need to fill in order to have enough to sequence. In order to fill the jar, we'll make replicates of the original 10 marbles. We'll randomly take enough marbles to fill this jar. From the jar, the marbles are again randomly picked based on their desired coverage. And then the duplicates from the selected marbles are removed. And we're left with 6x coverage. So how does this relate to your NGS project? One human genome equivalent is 3 picograms or 0 0.003 nanograms. And we have the ability to use various amounts of DNA into library prep. We know that some genome equivalents are lost during library preparation, size selection, and pre-capture multiplexing. But by increasing your input, you have more genome equivalents and a higher theoretical maximum coverage. Focusing on 100 nanograms, we have around 33,000 genome equivalents. And with a 50% library conversion rate and size selection, we end up with 10,725 genome equivalents. If we follow the 20% rule, then we can estimate that we get 2,145x coverage without having to over-sequence and with a low duplicate rate. Sequencing an NGS library is a sampling operation. Very complex libraries or low pass sequencing will yield low duplicate rates. Low complexity libraries and or over sequencing or over sampling will yield high duplicate rates. Increasing amounts of sequence will yield diminishing returns. This figure shows the effect of increasing amounts of sequence used for 117 KB design. At 1 million reads, the duplicate rate is 8.5%. This effect will worsen as you approach the theoretical maximum coverage. For example, increasing that number tenfold to 10 million reads results in a duplicate rate of 45%. Increasing to 20 million reads results in a duplicate rate of 58%. If we go back to the original image that shows various input DNA amounts, we can now see that if you follow the 20% rule, it will help you manage expectations in your targeted NGS projects by estimating realistic coverage and still maintaining a low duplicate rate. So what should you remember about the 20% rule and targeted NGS? Keep in mind the number of genome equivalents you have will be affected by the shearing, library prep, size selection, and multiplexing. If you need more coverage, you can start with more DNA into library prep. As you reach the theoretical maximum coverage, you may see a higher duplicate rate. And you can utilize a robust and reproducible library construction method that gives you high conversion rates in complex libraries. Thanks for watching Ask a Scientist. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, we would love to hear from you.